Hi, this is Lisa with Scientific Nutrition and today I want to show you how to take your hair sample and cut it and get it ready to mail off to Analytical Research Laboratory in Arizona. So this is my daughter Bethany and I asked her to be our model so I could show you. It's real simple. You're going to go in the middle of your head in the back. It'll hide it very nicely if you have longer hair. Gentlemen, if you have shorter hair, you can either cut it like this and a one inch will cover it or you could shorten the nape of your neck. So what you do is just clip up a little bit here and take your scissors and please use a stainless steel scissors not made in China and reason being is that tends to have metal that sheds contaminated metal when you do cut with that. So just take a little skinny thin strip so it's about two to three inches from left to right, about an eighth of an inch from top to bottom. And put the scissors next to the scalp. Hold on to the hair. And you're just going to take your sample here, and I will show you how to get that on your scale. And the lab will actually use a quarter inch of this. She has no hair color on there. You can see it's a little blonder and her hair was washed about 20 hours ago, which was ideal. You don't want it too far out, but you don't want to wash it fresh and then cut it because all your natural elements will be washed off. So now let's take a look at how to get this onto your scale and in your envelope. So now you will take your scale. This is what I mailed and you just fold the sides. There's instructions on the back, not that it's real difficult. And there's a little circle there that you're going to put the sample into to make sure that you have enough weight and enough for the lab to do their sample. It says it's about a tablespoon of hair, but it actually is a little less. And that ensures that they have enough to do two samples in case it comes out crazy high. And I have had on occasion them run a second test just to make sure it was not equipment failure. So now you can see we don't have quite enough bulk. So I'll take another sample and I'll add it to that. And when this scale tips over, then you'll just open up your sample envelope. I'm going to have a little sticky on there. And insert it and slide it right in. Fill out the front information, seal it, include it with your kit. And this kit you'll fill out part two. I'll have part three filled out. If it's a retest, we'll have your lab test number here. You check mark all of your symptoms and send it off in your pre-addressed envelope. Simple as that. If you have any questions, reach out and let me know. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.